happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i got some new items in from sweetie nail supplies so let's hop on into what i got so this is what they sent me which is super exciting um again this here is their business card so um these are this is their website as well as some of their social media handles and how to get in touch with them in case you want to place an order um so yeah be sure to check them out and I do have a discount code with their website. Uh, make sure you use that to save some coins on your purchase. And let's see, I'm really excited about this because I have been wanting to try this Jello Jello Peel Off Base Coat for a while. And I just got that along with a top coat and a few chrome powder, a few chrome powders from Blanc Blanc. So let's uh, go ahead and unbox all this together and take a closer look, okay? So, this is the pillow base. I love how everything comes packaged so you guys know there's not going to be any damage during shipping. They take really good pride in making sure their items get here safely and securely. I love this pop. <laughs> um, okay, so it says one kill pill off and it's a set box storage. So it comes with the pill off base coat as one as the one kill remover. Okay, so they're both 10 ml. Oh wait, no, the, I'm assuming that the pill off is 10 ml and the one kill remover is 30 ml. So one fluid ounce. Everything is, okay, so this is a Korean product. Everything is written in Korean, but we gonna, we gonna pop it off and take a look, okay? Okay, oh, it comes beautifully packaged almost. Oh, look at that, okay. All right, so there is a strong smell that comes in the box. I don't know what the smell is. It's like, it just smell like product. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't know if it's a good or a bad smell either. But okay, so the first thing we got out the box here is the cuticle sticks. It comes with, it comes with 10 orange sticks um, so that I'm guessing you can like pop the nail off. It comes with the peel off base itself. Let's take a closer look at this. How beautiful. I love the bottle. It's this really beautiful um, chrome matte red color with hollow lettering and it says peel off base. Okay, yeah, the bottle's pretty. Um, again, everything's written in Korean, so, okay, but it says peel off base here. And so yeah, y'all, let's pop it open. Oh, and it has Jello Jello at the top, that's nice. Let's pop it open and see what the consistency is like. Ooh, okay. It's a, high it's a high viscosity product. It's very, very thick, which I absolutely love. Um, well, it's like a medium to high viscosity. Okay, now it's moving a little bit more. But yeah, it's a really nice consistency. I think it's gonna be really nice and easy to apply. Um, I am really curious about how long this is gonna last because I've heard some people say that this stuff lasts until you're ready to take it off, which that's what I look for in a peel-off base coat. You all know that I used to use my Moran peel-off base coat, which I do still use actually, but it's been discontinued. So I've been on a search for like a new peel-off base. And so I'm happy to have this to be giving it a try. And then also in that box we have here, the one kill remover. And it's this soft gel nail remover. Okay, and it's to be used with the Jello Jello peel off uh, base. One kill remover. Okay, I love the container that it comes in. Um, whenever using remover products, it's nice to have like the little dropper. So that's nice. And let me get it open. Okay, I love that it's sealed properly. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let me smell it. Yeah, I think this is what I smell. It smells kind of good though. It smells a little citrusy. Okay. I kind of, I'm curious about the consistency of this product. Let me just put some on my hand. I don't know if this is good or bad to do, but. Okay. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like oil and acetone is in here. Um, that's what it, that's what it kind of feels like. It kind of, it kind of reminds me a little bit of my, um, debonder, but without the oily consistency to it. Like the debonder, it kind of dissolves. It's like into the skin, 
but this it dissolves but it has like a little bit of a sheen to it so I think there's a little bit of oil in this and I am going to go ahead and remove it from my skin just in case it's something that should not be making contact with my skin I'm just going to remove that with a little bit of alcohol here okay so this is very cool I'm super 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 excited to have this product in my collection you all know I like to do good ex oh not my nail just popped off oh lord but y'all know I like to do good extensive reviews on uh, products, especially pill-offs. So I'll be um, trying this under different application methods. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it lasts. And this just goes to show, I actually used a different pill-off with this nail set. And you all can see it already popped off. So that's interesting to say the least. <laughs> so that is that, okay. And next we have here is this crazy top coat, okay? And this is, I think, from Crazy Top. I was so excited to have this. This is very, very cool, very pretty. Let's open this up. Okay, so it's sealed very, very nicely. It's a huge container, so it is 0.83 fluid ounces and it's I ended up getting the the JB I ended up getting the thick one because I like thicker gels and this is a no wipe overlay crazy top coat so let's open this bad boy up so excited y'all love that packaging Ooh. oh so it's Gen B okay so that's the name of the brand Gen B okay let's let's take a look here okay let me just say at the bottom. Yeah, everything's written in Korean, so I don't know what it says, but it does say the crazy top here at the top. Okay, so this one is sealed, so we'll have to break the seal on here. Oh, okay. It's already kind of kind of open. Let's see. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this, y'all. This is thick, thick, ew. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so this here is my gel brush that I like to use, and I just wanna kinda get an idea of the consistency. It looks like it's nice and clear. You can see through to the bottom of the um, container. And when I move it, it does, it does move, so it, it's definitely like a medium viscosity here. Oh yeah, it's medium but thick. Um, yeah, this is a nice top coat here. You can tell this is just a really good quality product, though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually swatch it out on a. I'm gonna just swatch it out on a um, a swatch stick. I just want to see how it applies. And then I also want to see if there's any yellowing at all. I like to see about yellowing with top coats. Yeah, this is thick. But it self levels beautifully. And it says it's no wipe as well. So we'll just, I'm gonna just let it self level here for a second. Beautiful. Y'all see that? Self level beautifully. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure. And while that's curing, let's take a look at these chrome powders I got. Okay, and then last but not least, we have these chrome powders. Let's take a quick look at these. Okay, got quite a few of them. Very cool. So these are from Blanc Blanc. And I got five of them. So we'll take a closer look at each one. Okay, they have okay, they have letters and numbers on them. I like that they all come individually packaged. And I also love that they have little sponges to go with each one. So let's take a look at these. Alrighty, so these are all the colors on the box. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys up close to each one. So the first chrome powder we have here is W10. This is a very beautiful powder here. Looks like it's gonna give like a rustic uh, vibe once it's swashed out. And I am gonna swatch all of these on top of that crazy top coat that I just got. So 
I'll show you what all of these look like here shortly. Second color we have here is W21. Oh wow, this looks like beautiful unicorn dust. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely beautiful. And then in the top here, you can kind of get an idea of what that color is going to look like once it's swatched out. It's very, very pretty. Next here we have W09. And this kind of looks like a rose gold. Oh, very beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of a, kind of like a deep rose gold. Kind of has a little bit of a, like a purple shift to it as well. Very pretty. I can't wait to get these guys swatched out. Oh my gosh. W55. And I will say, I like these containers. I feel like it's helping with it not having a lot of spillage because I've not spilled any powder yet. So that's quite nice and kind of unheard of when you're thinking about chrome powders. Oh, this ain't got nothing in it. Where'd it go? <laughs> this don't have any powder in it, okay? Not like the rest of them. But it's a really beautiful pink color here. Again, here on the lid, you'll get an idea of what it'll look like swatched out. I mean, where the powder at though? That's what I want to know. Maybe it just don't come with a lot, okay? And then last but not least, we have W35. Okay. Oh, how pretty. Oh my gosh. This just looks like crystals, like snow crystals. Very, very pretty. This is an idea of what it looks like also. Very, very, very gorgeous. I'm really excited to get these chromes swashed out. So I am getting ready to do that now. I honestly feel like Actually, funny enough, this, does it not kind of look like the nail set I have on? Is it me or is it me? I don't know, but it's very, very pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Well, let's see. Is it though? Doesn't it kind of give that vibe a little bit? Okay, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these swatched out. So I'm finishing up getting these swatched out. I just got one coat on. I'm getting ready to do the second coat off camera. And then I'll swatch all these colors on top of both a white and a black. So stay tuned. And I'm also getting ready. Oops. I'm also getting ready to take these nails off because I do want to give this Jello Jello peel off base coat a try as well. And if you guys are curious about this peel off base coat I'm using here, it's Oont and I do have a video coming soon. Oh, and I do have a video uh, showing how I apply these nails. You're getting a sneak peek of how long that peel off base lasts. Um, it's really like an hour. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna hop the, I'm gonna pop these off and let's get to doing some swatching and a demo of this crazy top and Jello Jello peel off. Alrighty, so I went ahead and swatched out some uh, black and white swatch sticks and I want to go ahead and see how these chrome powders work out. I did also apply the uh, Gen B uh, Crazy Top Coat uh, and it's a no wipe, so um, no wipe top coats are great surfaces to be able to do chrome, chrome nails. So let's hop into it. I'm going to first swatch them out on black and then do it on white. And so um, I'm going to start off with the color... W09 and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it on black okay so I'm just gonna take just a little bit of the powder here on the sponge and I'm just gonna rub it in Ooh, that's pretty very nice just need to get a little bit more powder here it on in. I mean, it's chroming out beautifully, I must say. That's very nice. And one thing I've learned with chrome powders too is once you're done chroming, you'll flip it over and on the other side of the sponge, you'll just kind of remove any of that excess powder that may have been there. And we'll remove the excess powder. And when you swipe the excess powder, you want to do it really, really light, okay? So that's that first color, W09, and it's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna also do it on white. Again, take a little bit of the chrome on the sponge, and I actually like to dap it all around, and then you just start rubbing it in. Very pretty. Yes, baby. I'm here. Mommy. Huh? Hey, 
all my food. You ate all your food? Good job. Are you full? Good. And you flip it over and you wipe away the excess? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom, test it on. Test it on. Not right now, sweetie. Here, I'm, it. I'm almost done. I'll, I'll be with you in a second. Okay. Ooh, that was cute. It is cute. Baby, can you go sit down for a second? Go but, sit down. But I want to see the colors. Yeah, you see the colors here. Now go sit down. Okay, so that's a really beautiful rose gold color. I like that. So that's W09. Next, I'm going to go in with W10. I'm just use the other side of this here. And again, um, just to kind of show you all, you just really tap into the powder. I just tap it once, and that gets up plenty of product to be able to do the swatch with. And then I'll go ahead and kind of tap it onto the nail, like so. And then just start rubbing it in. Circular, small circular motions. And you want to make sure you get the full surface of the nail. And if you see any streaking like this, that means you don't have enough powder. And I just go in and dab again. And then just go ahead and rub it on in. Oh, now this is, wow, this is gorgeous. Holy moly. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love it. Wow. That's a beautiful gold chrome. Wow. Talking just a solid color. Look at that. Gorgeous. And you wipe away any of the excess with the other side of the sponge. Really, really light hand. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Look like melting, melted gold. Wow. I love that. Mommy. Yes, baby. And then I'll repeat that uh, on the white. Yes, you can, baby. Okay, so you'll go ahead and just tap this on and then start rubbing in circular motions here. And again, if you don't have enough, you just tap into your powder and keep on rubbing it in. And you're rubbing lightly here. You got a light touch to it. Very, very pretty. But this gold is everything, wow. And when you're done, you just go with the other side of the sponge and you're using a really, really light hand here. And you're just wiping away any excess powder you have. Yeah, that's beautiful. So that's W10. That's that side-by-side -side comparison of W10 on black and on white. That is pretty on both colors, love it. Next we have W21. And same thing, you'll just tap onto the nail. Oh, that's pretty, oh my God. And then just start rubbing it in circular motions. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I don't think I have a chrome powder like this. It's pretty because it has like blue, green, purple shifts to it. That's absolutely gorgeous. This is taking that unicorn powder to another level now, isn't it? That's beautiful. Wow. Holy moly. Absolutely beautiful. Take the other side of the sponge and just wipe clean. That's pretty. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. Y'all, disregard the popping in the background. My daughter's playing with the bubble wrap that was included in the shipping for this product. <laughs> and now I'm going to do it on a white background. Okay. Wow. This is really cool, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is giving it an even different like shift color dimension with the white background. Wow, I'm loving it. So this was the W21. Let me get a, a close of that. W21, look at how different that is on the two backgrounds, the white versus the black. Very, very beautiful, I love this color a lot. The next color we have here is W35. And I'm gonna just use the other side of the sponge here. And we'll just tap it on. And then just start rubbing it in. Ooh. Got a feeling it's gonna be that kind of mirrored look. Wow. definite mirror how gorgeous is this color 
wow, look at that, y'all. I'm gonna just rub away the excess powder like that. That looks really nice, holy moly. So that's on black. Do that same color here on white. Oh, that's so cool. So on this one, it creates like that little pearlescent, like a little pearly white color. Very, very pretty. This is gorgeous. Wow, these chromes are very, very nice if I do say so myself. Okay, and again, this is W35. These are the two colors side by side. Absolutely beautiful. And here it gives it like that, that, that mirror chrome look. And over here it gives it that very beautiful pearly white look. Absolutely gorgeous. Last but not least, we have W55. And I'm gonna go in with that over black first. Oh wow. See, this gives just such a different color than I was expecting. So that's what it looks like in the pot. And that's what it looks like on. Very, very different than what I was expecting in a good way. Very, very pretty. So you just start rubbing this on in to that top coat. Yeah, this is really pretty. I like the depth and dimension to these uh, chrome powders. It just it's not what meets the eye, which I absolutely love. Really gorgeous. Look at that. It's like another unicorn chameleon kind of glitter or chrome. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the excess powder like so. Yeah, this is beautiful, y'all. Look at that. You like it? Yes, I like it. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it over white. See, look at that. You see how it just creates a whole different vibe, white versus black? I just, I'm here for it. Yeah. These seem like very versatile chrome powders. You know black. They make black and pink up in it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and wipe away the excess powder there. Look at that. Okay, Mom. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is W55, you guys. You see how it's like a chameleon on the black and then this really beautiful shift, green, pinkish shift on the white? I'm in love with these chrome powders. It's very, very beautiful. Yeah, it's cute. So yeah, I love these chromes. I would say uh, it comes with a rose gold, a rustic gold, and then this pretty chameleon, like purple, bluish shift. And then we got silver, and then this chameleon shift that has like a, a pink yellow shift to it. So these are some really fun chrome powders to have, okay? And this is from the brand Blanc Blanc. I would highly, highly recommend these. I think they are amazing. They're definitely of really high quality, super easy to chrome out. The only one that was kind of splotchy, I would say, is the rose gold. And it could have been my application because that's, that's the only one that kind of, you know, performed that way. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat all of these and then I'm gonna do a demo of the Jello Jello top coat. Um, I'll top coat these off camera. But um, for my, my Jello Jello uh, top coat, I'm gonna do just like a quick demo on one nail. And honestly, I've had a casualty with my nail, you guys. As you all can see, it's like breaking here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip it off and I wanna apply a full cover tip with uh, some peel off base and just see how it works, okay? So. I'm gonna just take a pair of nippers here. I'm gonna just snip that nail off really quick. Like so. There we go. Now I'm getting ready to try the Jello Jello peel off base coat on this finger. I'm gonna put on a, a full cover tip on this nail and see, oops, and see how easy it is to just pop it off after application. So let's do this together, you guys. So um here is the jello jello peel off base again i'm super excited to be trying this out i'm gonna go in with a really really thin layer of this product on my nail and then i'm just going to cure it for 60 seconds so i'm going in with a really thin layer of it like so and with peel off base coat you guys a little goes a long way so i'm gonna go to the sidewall to the sidewall like so 
and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. There is a slight heat spike with it, but nothing too crazy. Kind of feels like the um, nail reserve, nail reserve pull off base. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's cured. It is tacky, which is good. So I do have my rechargeable gooseneck lamp. I'm going to turn that on. So I am going to take my zombie peel off. I mean, I'm going to take my zombie base coat to apply this full cover tip. You can go with any nail glue of your choice, but I'm going to just use that uh, just because it's another product that I got from Sweetie Nail Supply and it's really, really, really thick. Let me show you guys. It's a very, very thick consistency. So I feel like it would be great for applying full cover tips. See how thick it is? So... A little of this will definitely go a long way also. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to the inside of the nail tip. Like so. And then just a little excess here. Now you'll start at the base. Let the product work its way down. And then cure. Alrighty, so this is what the nail looks like after it's been applied. Now I'm just gonna go in with a black gel polish. I'm going with two layers of that and then I'll cure. Actually the one coat of polish looks just fine. Again, this is just for demo purposes. So now I'm gonna go in with the matte top coat. I'm gonna do a quick design on this nail. Like so. I'm going to be chroming out the nail with a design and so with that you'll want to have a matte surface so that the chrome doesn't stick to the parts that you don't want it to stick to. So I'm going to cure that. Alrighty, so this is what the nail looks like with matte top coat. I will say that's not the best matte top coat that I've ever used. It's a little streaky, but again, this is all demo purposes. So next I'm gonna go in with the crazy top and I just wanna do like a really quick little nail design. I'm just gonna uh, just kind of create like a, like an oval kind of like shape. So I guess maybe I'll leave this in frame right here. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit of the product I'm gonna dip straight in and then come out. So all I did was dip, I just dipped the, my brush in, it came right out. And what's left on the brush is what I'll use to do my nail design with. Okay. So I'm just gonna create, like I said, like a little oval kind of shape. My first time doing some 3D nail art like this. Let's see how it works out. So something like this. I do want it to stand up off the nail. So make sure that product gets on the nail nice and good. And then I want to complete this circle over on this side. This does not have to be perfect. Like so. Okay, so I'll go ahead and cure that. That's what it looks like, I'll go ahead and cure. And next I'm gonna be going in with the W10, and that's that beautiful gold and blanc blanc. So yeah, this color is absolutely gorgeous. So that's what that looks like after it's been cured. So I'm just gonna take one of these little sponges that came with the kit, I'm gonna tap into it, just, I mean, just ever so slight product, a little goes a long way. And I'm gonna rub that over the, rub that over the circle that I just created to give it that chrome effect. Oh, how cool is that? Beautiful, like so. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And again, you guys, you use the matte top coat to ensure that, um, the chrome won't stick to the matte top coat. 
Yeah, that's gorgeous. My first time doing a design like this, I love it. Okay, so then you wipe away the excess product. Let me see if this worked, you guys. It worked a little. I don't think the matte top coat I used was the best. So I think that's why we have all this extraness. I use some of this alcohol to get it off. A little bit, but not a lot. I'm using the alcohol to kind of get, get, get those loose glitters off the nail. Just so that the design is like the star of the show. working so I think I definitely needed to use a better matte top coat so that's kind of on me but I think all in all it turned out good close to just really clean up this little area here. I think it turned out good. It's beautiful. I love this. And actually I'm gonna leave it just like that y'all. I think I could go in with like a little top. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it. Go ahead and top coat it real quick to seal in the design. That's beautiful. Go ahead and cure. Alrighty, so this nail actually turned out really gorgeous. I'm gonna have to play around with more designs with like 3D nail art like this because this is absolutely beautiful. I might add something like this to my next set because yeah, I'm loving that. So now I wanna test out how to remove this nail um, again I did apply it with the jello jello peel off base so I want to see how well this one kill gel remover works so we're gonna just go ahead and um, apply this I guess like around the cuticle area just to see how it how it actually how it how it works let's see if it actually removes the nail so I'm just gonna apply it I say right here at the cuticle Just hoping this stuff actually gets off my nail. <laughs> um, they did supply like a wooden cuticle stick. I'm gonna just use one that I already have. Um, and let's just see if I can get underneath this nail to get it to pop off, okay? Let's see. Okay, I see a corner lift in here. Okay, that worked. All right. Okay, so far so good. So now that the corner is lifted, I'm going to apply just a little bit more of it. Here at the cuticle, let it soak its way in. Okay. I'm going to actually just saturate my little cuticle stick with it and just see about how it pops off. Now I will say it's a little bit tougher to remove. Well, not really. Okay, look at that, y'all. <gasps> it worked. Wow. Okay. Did y'all catch that? Wow. All right. Well, they just made a believer out of me. Okay. So, yeah, that one kill remover, I don't know what's in that stuff, but that popped right on off. So, that's awesome. So, y'all see that nail I just did? Boom, it popped right off. That is amazing. Okay. So, I am going to be doing some extensive. So, y'all know me. I love a good peel-off base coat. So, I'm going to be doing more extensive reviews, trying this product out under different application methods just to see how long it actually lasts. And it's cool to have this uh, one kill remover because that, that made the nail pop right on off, which is awesome. And you didn't even have to use a lot. Um, and then I also really, really enjoyed this crazy top coat, as you all can see. It's really amazing for doing like different nail art designs and these chrome powders are everything you guys. So yeah, I really enjoyed everything that uh, Sweetie Nail Supply sent over for review. I do have a discount code with them. I am gonna leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. But let me know, have you guys tried this crazy top coat? I 
definitely like it a lot. And this Jello Jello, I get what all the hype is about. This product was really easy to use, really quick, and it, it popped off. And you all see there's no damage to my natural nails. So that's pretty amazing. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of these two products for sure. And these chrome powders are absolutely stunning, as you all see um make some really cool nail art as well but yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video again if you plan on shopping their website be sure to use my discount code to save some coin and i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye